Hi y'all, welcome to today's video. Today, well, I wanted to do a different look. I just wanna change things up, do a different look. So, uh, yeah, and just kinda chit chat. On this channel, we create beauty one palette at a time. Grab your brushes, grab your palettes, let's get into it. But y'all, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the beauty community. I've heard other creators, I'm not going to name names, but I've heard other creators say, you know, that the beauty community is dying, sales are down, the whole nine yards, and y'all, the sales may be down, but I can honestly say, being in the community, that it's not dying. A certain creator stated that nowadays they don't want full coverage foundation. They don't want the full glam look. People are going outside and going to the mall and shopping in messy hair buns or messy hair sweats, their PJs. And yeah, okay, that may be the case. In my opinion, so just know that, that I have better self-respect, that I don't need, I don't feel the need to go to the mall in my PJs or look like I have not put a comb through my hair in 10 days. I don't feel that need. I have better self-respect for myself, not saying that they don't, but in my opinion, I have a better self-respect and I, as the mom, female of the family, likes to represent the family looking as if I did brush my teeth, did comb my hair, did put on my makeup, and actually got out of bed and tried that day. Now, is other people not representing their own families? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying I have to practice what I preach when it comes to my kids. So when I am saying, brush your teeth, comb your hair, you can't go in public looking like that. That does not give me a pass to do the same. Some people don't like full coverage foundation. I do. Is 2016 dead in my book? Nope. Just like the year I was born in 1978. Some of the styles in 1978 on the fashion floor is coming back. It all goes around. Everything that comes around goes around. It's all circles, kids, all circles. I mean, you can, you know, choose to not agree with me, agree with me, whatever the case may be. I, I am saying that the respect I have for myself is way better than maybe what, you know, the person down the street self-respect has. Maybe our versions of self-respect are different. Okay, that's the world we live in, that it's okay. It is totally okay to be different. It is totally okay to, I guess, represent yourself as if you rolled out of bed. I choose not to. I choose to at least get up and try, at least give it a shot. With that being said, we all can believe whatever we want to believe, but don't ask 10 years from now. I don't want somebody to come up to me and say, wow, you look different. You look great. You, you put on makeup. That's fantastic. Okay. So 10 years from now, if I went to the mall in a messy bun and a pair of sweats, is that what they're going to say to me later on? 10 years later and say, wow, you actually brushed your hair. Wow, you look fantastic in clothes that actually fit, that don't look like your pajamas. But there is always gonna be makeup. There is always going to be fashion. I just think that when creators say that the beauty community is dying, that is basically saying that the ones that love beauty and the ones that are in this niche should just give up, like just stop trying. Some of us out here that are trying to change that. Okay, y'all. 
here's the finished look. Like I said, the statements in this video are my opinions and my opinions alone. Be kind in the comments. Y'all like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell down there. It will let you know next time I upload. I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. Go out and do something kind for somebody, and I'll see you on my next video. Toodles!